Well, hello, YouTube. Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel here, Jacksonville, Florida. And I've been looking at my YouTube channel. I made a post on my community page about, you know, doing a video. I haven't fished in so long. I mean, it's like, you know, 12 days ago. I can tell you honestly, when it cost me a hundred dollar bill to fill up the tank of diesel in my truck, it hurts. And I'm sure it's hurting all of you. That scum sucking piece of shit and all his little buddies up there in the, you know, that big giant house with the columns in front is really putting a stick into everybody, especially people like me. I mean, when you work for yourself, I don't really know how long all this will last. I said that back in the economic collapse of 2009. You know, I, I said, I don't know how long it's going to last. At least, thank God, I own my boat. I own my truck. I watch 99.99% .99 of all my YouTube on a big screen TV Roku on YouTube. A smart TV. And I go through people's channels. I mean, especially when we're talking knife channels. How about that? Knife channels. I'm going to turn on another light here. Ba bam That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we got some light. It's been hard to be upbeat. My dad's been in the hospital now for probably 12 to 13 days. Yesterday he had his gallbladder taken out, but he had, what do you call it, uh, pancreatitis or something. And your pancreas and your gallbladder are kind of interconnected through some pipes, okay? Your lungs are sitting on top, so it affected his lungs. Plus, my dad has pretty much bad kidneys, and he goes to dialysis anyhow. One thing led to another, to another, to another, to another. And finally, he had his gallbladder taken out. He should have had this done years ago. But that's the American health care system for old people. This is kind of a bring you up the speed rant video. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing over the course of about a year. So we're going to move the official JennyWolfCaptainDaves.com since 1996 sticker out of the way that I know everybody would like. So I'm going to show you this. Let's get the light really in here. I think I might have showed this before. This is a Buck 560. Now, when I talk about knives, I'm not going to be like these, all these god dang geek son of a bitches on YouTube. Oh, let's get the weight. Uh, let me let me get the, the uh, measuring stick out. I don't think that you give a shit, to tell you the truth. Because you know what? I don't. Just show me a cool knife. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a cool knife, and I'm going to hope you're going to stick around, because guess what? There's going to be another giveaway, and I'm going to explain that giveaway. So, yeah. Ooh, a freebie. A freebie. Okay. Well, this is a buck five sixty. These are titanium side plates on here. This was uh, back in the 80s, early 90s, I believe. You can always tell because on a buck, they've got it stamped. I don't know what this one says, 560 with a dash. I can't really see it. I don't have my reading glasses on. But as we know, that right there is a buck 110 with titanium scales and the snappy lockback. Here's the problem I have with 99% of the knives that I see. Oh, oh, it just drops shut so nicely. Oh, oh, it's a flicker. Oh, it's this. My God. 
you know, there is actually, and I mean, it doesn't mean shit to nobody, okay, what my opinion is, but there's a few knife channels out there. One of them's with a woman and a guy. They make it hard to watch, but they got tons of viewers. I mean, I'm not always a knife guy. I enjoy collecting knives and using, of course, cleaning fish, but... There's a couple out there that are literally hard to watch. There you go. It's kind of a brush titanium. That's the one that I've been carrying on my hip every day for a long while. And let's pull out another one. Well, let's put out this one because most of them came with these nylon cases. Believe it or not, I like the nylon cases because they're lightweight and they're unobtrusive. They're like a bait casting reel compared to a god dang egg beater spinner. They lay flat. You don't hang them up on stuff. Okay, so let's see there. There's another one. There's another one. Here's what I look for when I'm purchasing these knives. That grind on the very end of the blade. This one isn't exactly perfect. Is just a little off right there. So when you snap it closed, what do you get? Let me see if I can look in the viewfinder here. You get, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of gappage over on this corner over here. So, you know, it's what people always say about Buck. Their quality control isn't the greatest in the world. But you know what? Buying one of these knives feeds an American family. So you know what? I really don't give a shit. But the snap, crackle, and the pop is the reason I really enjoy these knives. They snap open. What do they call that? It's got the walk and the talk. Walk and talk. And then when it closes, it snaps shut. Like another knife that will go over here in a minute. So there's two. Oh, of course, I put a stud, thumb stud on this one. Okay, let's keep the proper case with the proper knife. This one, the case is on my hip right now. Well, here's another one. Ooh! Who let them dogs out? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, baby. All black. It's got walk and talk like no tomorrow. Really stiff back spring. I love it. Closes on its own. None of this, oh, it falls shut shit. What kind of crap? What? Is that all so you can be a fidget finger, you know, you know what? I'm not going to say it, but a fidget finger, the next F. Walk and talk. These are all new, folks. I'm purchasing these that are leftovers. Leftovers. Okay. And a lot of people say, how do you do it, Dave? How do you do like that type of stuff? Well, there's this wonderful thing called eBay and PayPal. PayPal has a thing called PayPal Credit. And they give you six months to pay for things. So I use, you know, tip money and stuff like that from, you know, taking people out to catch these big old bruisers here and then big old speckly bastards right there. These are my two videos that I produced years and years and years ago on VHS tape through Bennett Marine Video. So I've been doing video way before YouTube was even invented, just so you know. Just so you know that this, and at the same time, I started on YouTube in 2007, was my first video. Yeah, well, my dad and friends of mine were cameramen and sound men on this, and my dad did all the editing on these VHF 45-minute how-to tapes. <sighs> and I'm telling you, I look at them, and it's, it's very amateurish, but at least we did it. So here's another silver one. I put another thumb stud on it. There's tons of videos about these knives. 
the best one is the next archer. That dude's got a collection of knives that will make a bulldog break his chain. Let me tell you. I'm telling you, there is some... I, that guy must have a vault where he keeps all this stuff. So here's another one. That's what I look for. Stiff. Yeah. Damn near brand new. Put a thumb stud on that one, too. All right. Here we go. Another black one. Let's see. Oh. I don't know if it's the black coating that makes it look like there's a big gap there, but the reason I started collecting these over time and selling off all my cold steel collection is for the sheer fact that these things have gone up in price every single year. Every single year. These buck 560. So don't you dare, don't you dare think about getting in competition with me. Well, I got plenty. I just let one pass on eBay because being at the charter business is for absolute shit right now. Let's see. Hmm, that one doesn't snap as tightly. Okay, well, we got one more. Now, this one is one of my favorites. Now, see how this one's got like a titanium brushed this was, the, I think, one of the first ones I ever got. This one is what they call crystalline. It's got sort of this pattern in here. Supposedly, the next archer said the reason they stopped making this is the, pe the outsourced people who made the titanium sides, you know, side plates or side scales or whatever for this knife, their building caught on fire and they couldn't, and at the same time, they couldn't keep up with the production. But that one's called crystalline. This one's called brushed. Then there was another version of this where instead of it being all riveted, it was all screws. And then you even had a screw on pocket clip. So there's another one. And that's about the end of all them. All right, so. What else did I want to tell you about? I wanted to show you something else. Oh, yeah. Here's my newest acquisition for my just... See, these are all collector type stuff, right? These are collector items here. Okay. These are kind of collector items. I just picked this up. This is... They reintroduced this. Cold Steel reintroduced this. This is the Holdout 3. It says hold out right there. It's in, oh God, S35 VN steel from Taiwan. <coughs> Excuse me. Boy, I'll tell you, I always, I've always wanted this. And right when I wanted to go get an OS 8 one, all of a sudden they were discontinued. Because you know, uh, Cold Steel was bought by another company right and that's the reason why i sold like six ugly or not, ugly what am i talking ugly stick i'm looking over here at ugly six some uh ugly stick uh sticker on my workbench that's the reason i bought up a whole bunch of tiger claws because i wasn't sure if they were ever going to make them again right just a hoard you know i'm a hoarder you know i'm a guy who believes in spares on top of spares on top of spares Okay, so I finally got this. But, again, like these, snap, snap, snap. None of this dr falling drop closed crap. No. Snap. 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 I don't like all that other stuff that these other, these hand hand jockeys are all into. Oh well, did you know that now? I read that the Atlantic Croaker, Atlantic Croakers now have a limit, fifty per person. I think it is. 
Really, in the state of Florida, who's keeping over 50 croakers? Are you insane, state of Florida? But see, it's just like the federal government. When they get a little grip on you, they're just going to keep gripping tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Okay? Next, it'll be, instead of 50 per person, they'll go, oh, there ain't no croakers in the state of Florida no more. Oh, man, okay, now it's 25, and then two years after that, it'll be 10, and two years after that, it'll be 5. That's what they're doing. They're working on it, folks. Next, it'll be whiting. Good old brown and silver whiting. I wonder if they'll break them into two groups. Because you got your beach whiting, which are your big silvers with the black tip on their tail, without teeth. Those don't really have teeth. Then there's what we call your boat whiting around here. They're the ones that are offshore, up in the river. They're the brownies. Okay, and the reason they call them boat whiting is for the sheer fact they're scooped up by the shrimp boats offshore, you know. So they call them beach and boat. Boat whiting, beach whiting, if you're wanting to know what they call them and everything around here. So that'll be next. You can guarantee it just like... Well, we're going to have a contest, and it's going to be a simple contest. I hate to even put this anywhere near these. Okay? This is a great American company. And you know what? I also read in the Knife News, for the first time in 110 years or something, Buck has now a president of the company who's not a family member. But Chuck Buck or somebody, one of them, he's still chief executive officer. He's the CEO. But the president of the company of daily operations is not a family member. So they said that, and I don't remember when that happened. I just read it in the Knife News. But... Remember this thing? That video went absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere, just like all the rest. I don't know why I'm so goddamn surprised, you know, because no one does this Chinese shit. And, you know, that's, I'm not a social bumblebee. I'm not throwing my shit on InstaFace and uh, what is the other one? I'm not a Facebook head. I don't give a rat's ass about that stuff. So here we go. I did the Bubba against, let's see. I got some right here. Remember when I did the video, the Bubba against these? <coughs> oh man, good old Dexter Russell. Ain't nothing like him. Ain't nothing like him. Look at these son of a bitches worn down to, you could swear I, I was working in a chicken factory. Look how worn down them some of guns are. And I did a comparison with this HCR 13 MOV or whatever it is. But we don't know what this is either. They call it Dex Steel, but it works. Look at that cheap ass goddamn sheath. Okay, but. For all you that got them damn Bubba Blades out there, somebody's gonna win this one. I hope you like it. To me, the handle was so obtrusive. Remember that word. Remember that word. It's just like I said about how nice and thin these are compared to, let's say, you know, the big leather cases. The big leather cases. All right, you put, let's let's do that. Let's put a knife in here. I feel like I'm doing a a kitty thing. Both knives go together. Both knives go together. But one is thicker than the other. Can you guess which one's thicker? Which one's thinner? Which one's thicker? No. This one's thicker. This here is a present 
from Orowak. This here is a shred, just like a buck 110. And it seems to get kind of greenish. So, I've been keeping it with some plastic around it. So, one is thicker than the other. There's no two bets about that. Well, when it comes to handles, check it out. That's what I hate about the Bubba. I'm not in all this. This is for people who don't know and don't hold a knife very often. If you need a guard like this to clean a goddamn bluegill or a trout or a redfish, then you got a problem. All right, what's it say on here? High carbon stainless. Yeah, well, this is high carbon stainless too. I don't know. But... The blade's thinner, the Dexter Russell is thicker, but the handles are what got me. And you know, at the same time, I'm used to this because this is all I've ever hardly used in my entire life. So when I put this thing in, and you know, you can't sell a knife by the handle. Just because you stick this red damn handle on everything under the sun, doesn't mean that it's great. Everybody who remembers this will win and you write it down in the comments below this video. Let's see how hard I'll make this. This blade, this product right here is the same exact nickname that my dad calls me and always has. Okay? So guess that name and put it in the comments below. And I will use the comment selector and then I will get with you, so make sure you got your notifications on and all that stuff, and I will send you this. Orowak donated this to the channel just to do that comparison video that I did between Dexter Russell and this knife right here. And I will put the link below of that video and maybe even the card at the end. So that's what's been going on. It's been a tough, tough road for me. Fuel prices, this inflation and them pieces of scum sucking shit up there. So if I got something to give away, I'll do a, more contests. But yeah, I mean, this thing's gonna cost me more money to send it to you that I don't really have, but I don't know how quick I'll get it to you, but I'll get it to you one way or another, okay? So the question, the comment that you got to put below this video is my nickname that my dad has always called me my entire life. And it's the same as this blade. So it should be easy to figure out. Put your comments below. Give it a thumbs up. I get some people to say they like my knife videos. And then I get a bunch of you, I'm sure, that, you know, you watch it for 2.3 seconds and then you're gone. But this is quite a collection I build up here of these. First, it was I got one and I loved it so much. Then I said, well, shit, look at that one. That's affordable. I'll get a spare. And then I saw the black ones, and oh, man. So I'll catch you on the next one. We must never forget this country does not belong to them. It belongs to you, the American people.